Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do you guys? Welcome back to Edgar TV. In this episode, we're going to look at some advanced coaching tips, things that you can do at home that are guaranteed to improve your darts. Guaranteed. The reason I can give you that guarantee is because it all works on you, your balance, and your stability. Now, if we take these bricks, for example. Now, they're all nice and firm. But if one brick comes out of line early on, further up we get problems, and we get this tip. Okay? We get this the more we build up and the more we go. This is the exact reason some of us will see the dark players that lunge and jump. Because we've got a problem down in the foundations, down in that base of support. Now very quickly, the base of support is the surface that connects us with the floor. Most of the time with dark players, this back leg is more just a stabiliser. Which means most of the time it's our front leg and our lead leg that is actually giving us the base of support in. Take a look at this example. Okay, so Tommy, my son here, starts with his legs close together and I apply a bit of sidewards force and he's unable to take that force onto the body. He starts with his legs split apart and actually, look now, he's able to take force to the body, he's more stable and more balanced. Now looking at the two starting positions of the feet, the one on the left hand side is obviously more suitable, the wider base, the outside of the body is in line with the hips, so the feet and everything is a straight line from the outside of the foot through to the hips. The other one with the feet together, it, the hips are on the outside of the body coming in on a triangle which gives us a point of balance on the base of support which isn't suitable to receive the force from the top. So when the force comes from the top what happens is the weight slowly starts to switch. So what starts to happen is when the push comes on, the body moves in direction of the force, which is over to my right. So when my weight starts to switch, you'll see my foot starts to lift here, which decreases my base of support because the weight comes until it gets to the point I can't take it no more. That's exactly what happened there with Tommy, and this is exactly what happens with our darts throws. So the example you've just seen there is my son Tommy receiving force, which is me pushing now, the exact same works when we apply force. If we're applying force from an uneven base, the chances are to get the momentum of the force that we need to be able to throw the dart correctly, we need forward body motion, forward body movement to generate that because we've not got that foundation. Now, to get the foundation, we can use a few simple tricks. We can use trial and error. I don't like trial and error. You'll hear a lot of people say, do what feels comfortable. Yeah, do what feels comfortable, but also do what's right. There is a right way, and it's very simple. We use one of these. This is a wobble cushion or a balance cushion. Whatever you want to call it, it does the same thing. Now, I use these when I used to teach at school very often. These are for helping increase balance and stability. There's a few drills that I can show you how to use these for, but also they're for finding imperfections. For darts, this is very good. We do it very simply. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your balance cushions down in the position you centerize your feet when you throw your darts. Now what this is going to do is this is going to provide you information on what part of your body is adjusting to give you your balance. Ideally, it should be none. Now the thing is, here where I'm standing now in my dart stance, I'm okay. It doesn't matter because I'm on a flat surface. When you're on a flat surface, different parts of the body, either in the torso, in the legs, in your lower back, different parts of your body will adapt to give you this stable base. But you're not going to feel it too much when you're on this surface here. Now going into the same stance on the wobble cushions, what this does, it gives me an uneven surface. An uneven surface is going to highlight these issues. So if I stand in the same stance with the same amount of pressure on my feet that I was having before, I'm not able to do so because I'm tipping forward. There, you can tell I was putting weight on the front of my foot towards the ball of my feet. When I was here, you can't tell that. Now, because you can't tell that, you'll probably notice that if you look at me from a front on angle, what I'm doing actually, so I'll get into position, is I've actually got a slight lean now in the body. So this is where miss sighting comes into play. You might say, stick your hip out a bit more. Let's see how that looks on the balance cushions. It's impossible. 
Give yourself an uneven surface. These guys are about eight quid. I am going to link them in the description below. I've price compared them. They're eight quid. The link's in the description below. It'll come with free postage and a free pump. Get yourself two. It's the best investment you'll ever make. Get on these things. Feel out your throat. You will feel if you're compensating in different areas. It's so simple, so effective. Increase your balance, build the foundations. I guarantee you, you will play better darts just by having a play and an experiment with these. These will give you the right results. They're not trial and error. This is science, guys. Sim Before I sign this off, I just want to quickly jump in and say I do offer private one-to-one -one sessions. They are available over webcam as well. So obviously with situation at the moment, can't get out and travel. If you want a private one-to-one -one session over the webcam, jump in the description below. I'll put the link in there. You can read all about my credentials. You can read all about my experiences. You can see reports and reviews from people who have used the service already. And you can find out how to book yourself a private one-to-one -one dart session. Hope you found this video useful. If you have, guys, hit the subscribe button. I will be putting more tips and advice of darts as we move forward. Season. Guys, if you found this video useful, hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting up more well, darts related content, really. It might not be coaching tips, but it's going to be darts related stuff. Also, you can find me on Twitter at, at the Edgar501. But yeah, hit that subscribe button, get yourself some of these, you can't go wrong.